Um, so we're here with Desiree Bryant. She's been one of the most consistent 100, 200 meter runners for the United States over the past, seems like almost a decade at this point. Um, but you just ran a season's best today. How are you feeling? I feel good. I feel really good. Uh, like you said, it was my season's best. You know, this year has been kind of weird with the weather. So, you know, a lot of my times have come from thunderstorms. So <laughs> I was thankful for, uh, you know, the sun today because I was actually kind of concerned because it said it was supposed to rain. So I'm like, ooh, not again. I'm like, I feel like I'm breaking the rain. <laughs> but it felt good. Nice, beautiful. And um, like you said, you've been super consistent over the past couple years. Can you talk to me about the transition from when you were in college and then going into pro and then even navigating your career now? Oh yeah, it was a whole adjustment, man. Like, you know, I didn't have anybody, you know, to guide me out of college. So it was definitely a shocker. You know, as a pro, you do a lot more training than competing. Like, you know, college is like every weekend, you know, two, three, four events, you know, so. It, it took me a couple years to adjust. You know, my first couple years I was injured. So I actually didn't really start by pro until 2018. So uh, yeah, it was an adjustment, but you know, just for athletes coming out of college, just give it time. You know, just give it time, just because we need to work hard. And my biggest thing was staying on treatment. Like, lots and lots of treatment. <laughs> nice. And then can you talk to me about some of your role models um, who you looked up to, not only in track, but maybe outside of track as you were getting into sports? Yeah, so um, I, actually my father and my mom got me into track. You know, it was a last minute thing. They were like, well, girl, you ain't doing nothing over the summer. Just go ahead and run track. So, and then we found out that I was pretty good. So I'm like, I'm here now. <laughs> but yeah, I, I always look up to Shelly Ann, you know. We're like the same height. So I'm like, girl, you give me hope. <laughs> so she's definitely somebody I look up to and admire a lot. Nice. So, yeah. And then of, of course, like 100, and then you've made a plethora of 200 meter teams and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But give me an event that you've never done before that you would love to do. Maybe you jump into before you retire. Could be on the track, could be on the field. You know what I would love to do? Long jump. Ooh. Okay, okay. I, I, I used to ask my college coach all the time, like, let me just get into one meet. And they're like, dance, no, no, because you're going to hurt yourself. You don't know how to land. No, we can't afford that right now. So I would love to do long jump. There you go. Yeah. Well, that's